on guys welcome back uh, it's been a minute but uh, we'll see if we can't throw something throw something together for part three of tobacco harvest all right so as requested we're gonna try try and make a part three at least a part three of a part three of tobacco harvest um, yes they're my dump trucks don't judge me um, gonna try and make a part three here um wasn't totally sure but i guess enough people were interested so we'll give it a whirl here um this is my tobacco cellar sometimes otherwise known as the dungeon um nathaniel likes to refer to it that way he does not like being here um this used to be i guess a pretty let's see if this thing There we go. All right, this used to be a pretty uh, nice, I guess, cellar. Um, it was then out of use for probably 20 years. And then me and my cousin Carter, uh, we started raising tobacco 2019, 2018, 2018 maybe. Um, we came in here and we did the best we could. It, uh, Needed some cleaning. We had to put the presses in. In here, actually, we raised it that high. There was no wood platform. It actually steps down about six inches, and it was mud. There is a drain down there. It was a mess. We uh, used it like that for a year, and then we found the drain and drained all the mud and water out. There's actually a spring underneath of here. Um, which is actually kind of helpful for getting the tobacco damp. Um, but we put stone and skids and plywood and raised it up. And it is definitely not the nicest tobacco cellar around, for sure. But it is functional. And that's all that matters in this use anyway. Um, so yeah, we'll try and see what we can get taught. Um gonna have to start in square one and I'm not sure I'm not sure how it'll work out but we're at least gonna give it a shot so I'm gonna get some out here on the table and then uh, we'll dive on into it all right so these are the tobacco laths that you would have seen us um, cutting spearing and loading in the summer um they've since dried down um up in the barn we are actually almost done taking down out of the barns we're coming down the home stretch actually um but this is mine mine was stored in the barn above there's this trap door here <laughs> okay bad idea you get the point there's a door there that opens um and we put down through the hole and fill the cellar as i empty it um this stuff is packed in here pretty tight over here as you can see um i was upstairs taking down with dad passing it down grandpa even decided to pile some on the floor um it wasn't getting damp enough and um it needs to be damp if it's not damp it's very brittle to the touch this stuff you can take and squeeze um that stuff you look at it wrong and it'll shatter and that's not helpful because you want a good leaf. Um, so I took this stuff and spaced it out over here, spritzed some water on it. Uh, it drew up pretty good overnight. Um, and uh, so we'll work at sorting it. I have been working at stripping um, for a while now. Pretty much whenever I'm not in the manure tank. Um, well, in the past month or a couple weeks, whenever I'm not in the manure tank, I've been in here. Um, Trying to get caught up. We were in Wyoming for a week snowmobiling, which was amazing. Um, still no snow around here. Actually, if you look out my still foggy windows, um, weather for today on February February 23rd is, uh, yeah, 72. Not February weather. So uh, it stinks to have to be in here on a day like that, but... Is what it is. It all needs done. Um, 
I took these off of the lath a while. Got my nice lath pile here. There is more tied up outside. So those are the bundles that we will then take to the field next summer um, when we're cutting then and uh, <clears throat> the cycle continues. So this is one of the presses I am using. Um, you can see there's tobacco in there already. This is what we call the pull off. Um, pull off, what's the word I'm looking for? Grade. Grade is the word I was looking for. Uh, so you gotta sort it. Um, I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Maybe we'll do it with this. I found a nice little pin thing, lid, I guess. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can sort it. I have been pulling it off. Um, I've been pulling it off because I've been leaving it loose and uh, putting it in the dampening room and Nathaniel's been coming up after school and tying it for me. Sometimes. He's not very happy about that. Um, but anyway, some people just sort it on the stalk like this. You just kind of fold the leaves over and sort it and then strip it off later. I've been pulling it off. I don't really know how this is going to work. Um, I had asked Ashlyn, he had a head mount thing that he used for his first person point of view manure hauling video once, and uh, I asked him for it. I'm going to hope he forgot it and didn't just ignore my request, otherwise we have bigger problems at hand. But we'll make do with what we got. Um, there's four grades um, of tobacco in what we're dealing with. Um, you have wrapper, which is your perfect leaf. Um, binder, actually I'll take that back, binder, which is your almost perfect leaf. So this is a almost perfect leaf, I'll say, um, minus that one hole, which we don't like holes in tobacco leaves, but it happens. Um, so that's binder. This would be, if I can get it opened up, get the GoPro in my hand, this would be another binder. Um, wrapper is your perfect leaf, binder is your few defects. Um, it can have a quarter sized hole on one side of the rib, which the rib runs down the middle here. Um, so it can have a quarter sized hole on one side or two dimes, two dime sized holes on the other. Um, and then pull off is kind of like your, your low grade. If it's not a perfect leaf and it has more defects than can go in binder. Uh, it would have to go and pull off and then uh, you kind of have trash which I can show you why they call trash trash um, trash would be the oops this kind of leaf that is a trash leaf that goes in there with all the other trash leaves um, so you kind of sort it into those got those three main uh, wrapper binder and pull off and then trash um, so yeah you pretty much pull it off the stock fold it open you got to look at each leaf see what it's got this would uh, I consider this a binder binder is pretty much one good leaf, one good side to a leaf unless like I said it has a dime size hole um, so I would throw that in binder these are all wrappers um, pretty much perfect leaves. Um, and that's what you want. Um, wrapper pays better than binder. Binder pays better than pull off. Um, they grade you on your weight. Um, the tobacco goes in the presses, uh, gets made into bales. I feel like I'm rambling and going back and forth here. Um, and then bales, I got bales back there stacked on the floor. Um, roughly, uh, I don't even know how many pounds it would be. Um, yeah, I don't, maybe 40, 45, 50. Um, this is what we go for. We get paid by the pound. Um, better leaves get better money. And, uh, that's why you gotta be careful with it. And, uh, try and raise a good crop. Otherwise, you go through all the work for not as much so we'll get sorting here 
Um, I'm going to try and get a little bit done and then I will start filming again. So I got done with the five I had on the table, brought five more out and I worked on them and I'm down to five stalks actually. So these are all stripped off. This is my nice stalk holder. No, it's not a stool upside down, I promise. Um, these are all the stalks that were stripped off. So you can see, um, there's where the spear had gone through. So it would have been standing like this in the field. Cut down, speared up. Um, in the first video where it was topped, you can see there's the where it was snapped off. Um, this stuff's been doing pretty good. That is my wrapper pile, um, which is the good stuff, so that's good. Binder, the middle grade. Still have some. Pull off the, the I, I'll say the lowest grade is there. I put a little bit in there already. Um, these are tires. I didn't really explain this. Um, these are all heavy leaves or leaves that should be in wrapper but have some defects. This one has some sunburn. You can see the green there. Um, wrappers need to be tied. So pull off when you bail it up. It just goes in loose. <clears throat> you just strip it off and put it in. Um, wrapper. I'll go in here quick. This is a pile of all wrapper. Nathaniel didn't tie it up. These are hands that he already tied up. I'll take it out here into the light. Um, you take a leaf. You wrap it around the top and it holds it together uh, you put you can put between 15 15 and 20 um, anywhere between 15 and 20 in a hand usually try and keep it consistent um, but to tie that up I don't I, I don't don't ask me why um, but you can tie with the junkier stuff so stuff that couldn't be in the wrapper you can tie with and it still gets in the wrapper um usually you try and pick your heaviest your biggest leaves to tie with that adds the most weight into your wrapper percentage um usually it's it's all i mean all the heavier leaves but it's also all of the the junkier stuff that way you're still getting your junk uh into the highest quality um, I laid out some leaves that I came across while sorting to find this. This is a, a very nice leaf. It's not stretched out. I can't stretch it out with one hand, but that is my hand on the leaf. Um, that's a good leaf. That's one you want. This is also a good leaf. This one's, you can see a little bit darker in color. Um, darker leaves. They're usually heavier. They got... They kind of grew out better. This, I don't even want to talk about it. Don't know what that is. Yeah, no explanation. That would be one that um, I'm going to put on the tire pile. Not a great tire because it doesn't have a lot of weight because most of it's missing. This is another one that would be a also a really nice wrapper, um, but it was destroyed by holes. Maybe got drug across something in the field. Uh, someone poked a finger through it at one point. Um, uh, I'd also put that in tire. This, this is a nice leaf. No holes, no mold, no sunburn, no shed burn, no frog eyes, which are all bad stuff on tobacco. But um, the problem with this one is it's too small. Uh, it has to be at least nine inches wide. Um, and that's not nine inches. So that, unfortunately, even though it's a... Um, a perfect leaf it was probably up top didn't grow out completely um this is sunburn i know i had said about it when we were cutting the back you can't leave it lay too long well this got left lay too long um this green stuff that i mean so i said a binder that needs to have one good side there's the rib there's a good side um but sunburn is not supposed to go in either that would have to be a tire um they say sunburn makes the leaf bitter I thought all tobacco was bitter. I have no idea, but that's what I was told. Um, here's one. This one's kind of annoying as well because it's a really big leaf. If it was, I mean, it's a big leaf now. If I stretch it out, it'd be even bigger. 
and it's a perfect leaf, but along the edge it has some sunburn. Um, technically, if it's a smaller spot of sunburn, you're supposed to treat it like it's a hole. Um, in that case, in that case, I would put it down as binder. Um, this here, this is some frog eyes. That's a that's a little frog eye there. Um, just, each one of those counts as a hole. You can see where those frog eyes kind of pop through, and they are holes. Um, now that's a tiny one, and the majority of the leaf is up here, and it's a good size leaf. I'd put that in binder as well. There's a good size wrapper, another wrapper. Um, here's one that kind of got a little bit of everything. It's got it's got some frog eyes, it's got some holes, and it's got some sunburn. That's just that's a special leaf. So that's a tire too. Um, this thing, some grasshopper. Had a really good lunch. I hope he got indigestion and died. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's another thing you got to put up with is bugs. And then this, <clears throat> man, sorry. Um, this would just be a pull off, not because anything specifically was wrong with it. It's, you can see the coloration. If I move this and this, you can see the color, maybe, I don't know. The GoPro went black, but um, coloration is just off. This would have been a ground leaf, so at the bottom of the plant, it didn't get as much sunlight and didn't grow out as good. Um, but that was a little bit of a, I guess, crash course. If you need help identifying trash, well, that's on you. I'm sorry if you can't identify that as trash or that as trash, which that. We're just gonna chuck that under the table. That's not even considered a leaf at that point. Um, that's the crash course. Uh, like I said, the wrapper gets tied up, binder gets tied up, pull off goes in just straight, trash goes in straight. Um, so usually you try and, um, usually you would tie up as soon as you're done with the stalks on the table, you'd tie up, clean the table up. Because Nathaniel's tying for me, I'm going to carry those in and put them on the table. And then I will put the pull-off in this press and just kind of clean up some stuff. And bring five more out and the cycle just keeps going. So I'm going to take, take the stalks out. Um, just throw them in the manure spreader here. Fill the spreader up. Um put this around once the spreader is full that will go get spread on a field um, they'll disintegrate they don't really provide that much nutri nutrients I guess for the soil um, one thing uh, you're not supposed to spread them on a tobacco how should I put that you can't you shouldn't spread them where you're going to grow tobacco next year so we have our tobacco patches marked out um, where they're going to be um, and we will not spread them there just because the stalk, um, if there was any kind of disease on the stalk, um, putting it back on a tobacco patch will mess up your crop for the next year. Um, that's also why you rotate tobacco patches. I forget how many years it is in between when you're supposed to do patches and stuff. Um, it's kind of like rotating any other kind of crop. So you, uh, if there's a disease, you want to rotate the, rotate it that way. It doesn't get it again. Um, so that's how it is with the stalks. Sometimes we, if we have fields that have big gutters running down through them, we'll, uh, spread down the gutter and put it on extra thick. Kind of helps hold water pretty good. And then it'll disintegrate. They'll kind of form into the gutter. Uh, doesn't always work as you hope it would, but sometimes it does help, but they're not worth anything. Um, apparently, way back when, they actually used to, um, they used to bail the stalks too. They would put them in a press, and uh, they'd take them where we deliver our tobacco to, and they would actually roll them out and flatten them um, and try and make leaves out of them, or I don't, maybe they would just use that for... Um, chew or snuff i don't really know um but that's what i was told I guess they decided it's not worth it because now we just spread them back out there on the field that 
you're messing with, you're holding down here, you're putting your spear through down here, you catch some of the leaves, they get drug in the dirt. Um, so usually your best leaves are up top. <clears throat> and so when I lay them down, when I pull them off and lay them down, the best leaves are what falls up top. And I'll rip, rip them off, lay them down, and then just kind of fan through them. And toss, toss the wrappers, the good leaves up here, onto a pile. And then usually whatever's left is usually pull off or binder or I'll put it in a tire. Um, and then I'll just take my little pile, throw it up on the big pile, and keep going like that. So it's kind of just a cycle. Um, my grandpa, he has a another tobacco seller that he's stripping his stuff out of there. Um, my dad's stripping his stuff up there. There's two full-time guys that were uh, work for, well, one full-time guy and one part-time guy. Um, and they're both up there stripping. That's a much bigger, much nicer seller. Um, that's why they're running the majority of the tobacco out through there. Or through out there, I guess. Um, so it does get boring and repetitive when you're in here for 10 hours a day by yourself. Just pulling leaves off and sorting leaves, but uh, listen to music. Um, occasionally you get people that swing by and decide to help when they get done with work or Nathaniel comes after school, so um, you find ways to pass the day. It's not all that bad, but it does get repetitive after a while. I decided I'm gonna go home for lunch. Um, haven't decided what I'll be doing after lunch. It's kind of a, I don't know. Seems like too nice of a day to be spent just standing around inside of the table sorting leaves. But uh, I guess it all depends on what else there is to do. I'd really like to wash the manure tank at some point here soon. Um, today seems like it would be a pretty nice day for that but we'll have to see what the boss man has on the agenda all right guys welcome back for some late night stripping it's actually not that late it's only like 6 30 but i have a helper now he's not much help well unwilling and yeah he's not a happy helper and i don't even know if he's much of a helper Dude, you're making a mess you, if you could have taken a few more so, for the first little bit, since I wasn't tying this morning, no, get the tires. I specifically set aside tires. Um, I'll flip this back around. For the first little bit this morning, since I wasn't tying anything, I am going to take the large burden of filming him tie. <laughs> And see, that's what the dump trucks were for. They hold the tires. So we're gonna watch him tie for a little bit because you can't tie and do this. So I gotta go to the other side because go he's a dumb lefty. Sorry to any other lefties out there. <laughs> but you count 15. Two, seven, nine, thirteen, twelve, twelve, one, thirteen, two. fourteen, fifteen. And then you take a tire. Why don't you explain why it's a tire? I already did. Oh. <laughs> You're about ten hours on behind. Eight. Then you tuck it through the middle. And voila! Now do that. 400 more times and you'll be caught up so 72 of those hands go into a bale and 
it'll take him a while to get there. So while we wait for him to do that, I'm gonna make sure he doesn't get cold up.